It seems like a simple equation. Just about all the Democrats are in favor of expanded background checks. The president's declared he is too. And he says Senate President Mitch McConnell and a bunch of Republicans are on board as well. So this whole thing sounds like a slam dunk, right? Joining me for a reality check are Jennifer Braceres, columnist and senior fellow with the Independent Women's Forum. Nice to see you, Jennifer. Thanks, and John Rosenthal, of course, is co-founder of Stop Handgun Violence. John, thanks so much for being here. Thank Jennifer, you. let me start with you, and let's start at the end with the lowest of low-hanging fruit, and then we'll build up. Okay. Will there be, to quote the president, meaningful background check legislation passed and signed this congressional session? Well, we already have background checks. No, I'm additional meaningful background checks. I know we have them. I don't know the answer to that. I really don't, because the devil is always in the details. It always is. And theoretically, people might be for something, but as with all legislation, things get tacked on, and we have to say. Uh, speaking of details, it seems to me the detail is this one particular word. Here's the president on Friday. There's been no president that feels more strongly about the Second Amendment than I do. However, we need meaningful background checks. Now, to me, the, the detail that she's talking about, not that I would talk about, is what does meaningful mean? What does it mean to Mitch McConnell? What does it mean to Republicans? Will there be something signed in the law that is, quote, meaningful at the end of the session? There should be, but let's just be real. In 32 states, you can buy 1,000 guns a day from private gun dealers without a background check. Over 50% of all guns sold each year are sold without background checks by private gun dealers. So universal background checks will certainly help reduce injuries and deaths from preventable gun violence. And every single state that has background check requirements and stronger gun laws have lower gun deaths rates than every single state without background checks. It's a no-brainer. And, so and yet they still have mass shootings. I mean, California has universal background checks, so does New York, and they've both had mass shootings this year. Uh, but yeah, the but states with the strongest background checks, correct me if I'm wrong, are the ones with the fewest gun fatalities. So there is, seems to be a causal connection there, well, too. Well, we're, we're, we're mixing apples and oranges when we're talking about gun fatalities versus versus these mass shootings and there's a difference and we see gun violence every day on the streets of our inner cities and we don't see the media going crazy about it like they do when it happens in the suburbs it's a very elitist way to cover what does it issue. matter the issue is I, the issue to me is and i'm not an advocate like he is uh, i like to be safe and like to have my kids be safe mm -hmm. my thing is if uh, expanded background checks meaningful background checks save one life i'd be happy and then we'll build from uh, there. So whether we're covering Chicago as much as we're covering Dayton right. and El Paso seems to me to be well, second. Well, but my point is most of the gun violence occurs from, from, from people who are lawbreakers who they are, they're going to have guns regardless of what the law says. That is right? so ridiculous. Look, it's true. there are 100 gun deaths a day, 200 injuries and in a mass shooting or four or more people every single day. There's been a mass shooting more times than days of the year this year. So if you want to stop mass shootings, you ban assault weapons and large capacity ammunition magazines, the common denominator in all the mass shootings. If you want to help reduce inner city gun violence and suicides and accidents, you have a background check requirement so only people who don't have a prohibition, who aren't dangerously mentally ill, who don't have a criminal record, can buy guns. But today, okay, so there's a Democratic neither of these member, two if I shooters may. would have come up in well, a background check. Pardon me? Neither the Dayton nor the Ninety-seven percent of Americans support a background check. How could you not support I'm, I'm a background check? I'm just talking about the evidence. Not, when, not, when, excuse no, me. it's not say, the evidence. I didn't say whether I supported no, it or not. listen for a second. What Look, I'm saying how do you know is one at a time. How do you know if somebody's prohibited? from buying a gun unless you have a background check. Neither of these two recent shooters would have come up in a background check. They had no criminal record. They had no so nothing So those on shootings and might have happened anyway, but the majority of shootings, the 100 people killed but a day, a aren't in mass shootings. That requires complex solutions, not political grandstanding, and we're going to pass Is these Is the president laws. political grandstanding too? Maybe. Maybe. Can, I, can we get back to assault weapons for a second? If a Democrat was watching tonight and said, yeah, I personally support assault weapons ban, Democrats were wiped out in 94. Jay Inslee said the other day uh, he was thrown out of Congress explicitly because of his vote for an assault weapons ban. Bernie Sanders, I think it was in 2009, voted against banning uh, guns on Amtrak because of his concern about that vote he had taken as a member of Congress. 
okay, I'll vote your way and I'll lose my job. What do you say to them? Maybe you'll save lives. And what is more important as an elected official than to protect the public health and safety versus take blood money campaign contributions from the uniquely unregulated gun lobby? I mean, look, this is a choice. And we're the only country in the world that has made the choice to not have background checks, to not ban military-style assault weapons, which are virtually weapons of mass destruction. We have 40 thousand gun deaths a year. We have more gun deaths than 26 industrialized nations combined. This is a choice. We are choosing elected officials who care more about their own self-interest in Congress than our health and safety. Now, you're acting as though the, the people are in favor, who are in favor of the Second Amendment don't care about lives. You know what would have saved lives? If the police in Parkland and the schools in Parkland had done something about Nicholas Cruz, and they had a lot of reason to believe that that kid was trouble. They had a lot of reason to believe it. And the reason that, that he would never have come up in a background check had he gone to get one is because he wasn't put into the system. But, but Jennifer, let me, even if you were right, uh, and John was saying for argument's sake a minute ago, let's give him that they may not have made a difference here. If we all agree they'd save some lives, and we all agree that 90% of America, including a huge majority of NRA members, support background checks, why not do what we know we can politically do? And I'm asking you this as a, on behalf of Republicans, not your personal Because background checks is, is it's a code word, some people believe. I mean, we have that. So let's ban assault weapons, but, and so we know they were used in all three cases. Checks. You asked about background checks. Well, now I'm asking checks. about you assault weapons. Let me give you my answer. Drive Excuse cool me. Bus. I let you speak. Go ahead. Go ahead. We have background checks. What we, what we don't have is a national gun registry, and that's what people who are in favor of the Second Amendment don't want. They don't want the federal government to have a registry. How about banning assault weapons? They have How about that? Why do they Why do they need assault weapons? I don't know, because I'm not a gun person. No, but you're just speaking for them a minute ago. You said their position on the side, they're worried about the Second Amendment. Right. Why would they say they needed an assault weapon? Uh, in American society in 2019. I don't know. I'm not a hunter. I don't know what those things are Well, you're are not allowed for. to use an assault weapon okay. when you hunt. When you hunt, you get a license. When you get a hunting license, you're limited to three rounds for duck and five rounds for deer. When you want to kill people, no limit on the number we of rounds. We only have a couple of seconds. Uh, Pro-Second Amendment people are, uh, are famous for being single-issue voters. Yes, they are. Will people who care about gun reform become single issue voters in 2020? Look, 97 percent of Americans want background checks. I'm a gun owner. I'm a gun owner. Most gun. gun owners support common sense gun legislation. And will they be single issue voters like the other side is? The March for Our Live Kids created a movement after Parkland. They got out the vote and we flipped the House. We can flip the Senate and get the criminal out of the White House if we all vote on the gun violence prevention go. issue. John Rosenthal, nice to see you. Jennifer Braceros, as nice always. Thanks.